Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC, and we've got another QSP knife to check out. This is the QSP Hedgehog. Now this one's just a sample, prototype type of knife, but we've got a knife that's going to be coming out here roughly in September time frame. That's what QSP is shooting for. And of course, David Blade Banter, uh, Mr. QSP USA himself, has generously got this one out to the pass around group and i am digging this knife got an opportunity to check it out at blade show this year and uh yeah it, it's gonna be a fun fun little knife i can just tell you that right now now like i said i'll show you right now this one is a sample so i haven't seen like the final final version what we're going to be looking at but you basically got size shape everything is here just we're gonna have a little bit of different probably uh, cover materials handle materials so on uh, you got 14 c28 and on the blade that is pretty much staying the same from all that I know but these are gonna run about 55 to 85 right in that range the 55 to 85 range depending obviously depending on g10 micarta whatever the the handle materials and stuff you're gonna be looking at but let's just check this little bugger out um, first thing that I really noticed on this one was the back spring. I mean, it looks pretty darn good. You do have a slight, I mean, a slight, if you look down towards this end, your spring is a little bit tighter than it is on the top end. But again, it's a prototype. So, okay, I, I can't be too harsh on that, but um, it's looking pretty solid so far. If they can get the whole piece to look like this, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, do have a lanyard hole, so lanyard fans rejoice for sure. Got a beautiful, beautiful looking long pull there. Um, QSP has done a really good job with pretty much any, any of the slip joints I've been seeing. I mean, you know, I saw the Ohio River Jacks. Those were done by QSP done very very well and yeah i think this one's going to be the next one in the line to just you know look really really good but let's take a look at it you've got this sort of razor style blade on it now 14c as i said you got the qsp logo there now you will notice this one does say sample because it is it's basically the prototype but look at that blade i just i like how this is cut back and it comes out to such a point there because you're gonna instead of it being a more rounded point kind of like a sheep's foot um you know it's basically more kind of like a worn cliff that worn cliff comes down to a little bit of a point there sheep's foot does too in a way but this the way this is cut back i mean it comes down to a wicked wicked point and you're gonna be able to do a lot a lot of tasks with that just that little extra point on this knife nice choil there super super little knife I, I, i've been digging this guy ever since i saw it like i said at blade show and these guys have been showing it off and there's news i was like i want to get my hands on it and spend some time with it because yes indeed now we'll, we'll talk a little bit about uh application i mean it's going to do pretty much any of the, your it, everyday tasks without without question it, it's going to cut a box it's going to it's a it's like dude it slides through cardboard holy crap um now cutting edge is going to be a little bit shorter for you know some tasks like i do at work you know like cutting rope of uh, six thread nine thread natural twine goes through pretty darn well has a little bit more of an issue with the 21 thread just because it just needs a little bit extra length but it cuts smaller twine very very well but all right let, let's just take a look what are we going to get out of it? You're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to get, oh, roughly, oh, it's not quite back there. Let's, oh, come on now. We're right about, yeah, all right, we're going with there. I mean, it's just a hair over six and a half inches. Just a hair. Your handle, I'm giving it at about, all of about three and three quarters. Going to give the blade, oh, where's that blade at? We're going to give it. Just shy of three. Your cutting edge is definitely less than three, about two and three quarters. 
as you can see right there. Now, grip length, obviously, you're going to be able to choke up a little bit on the kick, but let's just give the handle. I mean, it's three and a half all day long, and that's how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. Now, I can get a full four finger grip on this knife. Now, it is a slip joint. Your pull, I'm going to call the pull a six. You've got a nice half stop, snaps open, snaps back into the half stop and then shut. Kind of a thud more than that click, but I tell you what, that back spring is really, really nice. Back spring's doing all right. So let's let's get some size comparisons. Uh, how about this one? We'll go with the bug out. Bug out's a little bit closer. It's gonna be, obviously, a little bit longer. And of course, we're gonna throw the PM2 out there because that's just what we do. Obviously, PM2, much larger knife. And let's see what it is. Got a mini bag lighter here. Let's try that. So, oh, pretty comparable to the mini bag lighter. Pretty close. Pretty close. Looks like the QSP, the Hedgehog, might have it just a little bit on the blade. Handle, yep. Hedgehog's got it just a little bit on the handle as well. But, yep, yeah, it'll scale out here. And we'll definitely check out. Our weight what do we got we are looking at right about three ounces not bad at all for what you're getting 84 grams very good now I have been slip carrying this guy and I know I've been probably carrying it opposite of everybody else everybody else carries pivot down I carry pivot up that's just what I do uh, because when I pull it out it's right there falls into the palm and it opens up don't have to turn the knife. I know pivot down helps you protect, keep stuff out of the pivot. I get that. You know, overall, this is a fun little knife. I, I had a lot of fun with this. Like I said, I've liked it ever since I saw it at Blade Show. Uh, Price-wise, 55 to 85 depending on materials. That's not too bad. You're getting 14C20 and N and whatever G10 micarta, whatever may fall into that category. But overall... Not a bad little knife. Lots of fun. I think this is going to be a good one for QSP. Um, maybe not as good as the Penguin. I don't know. I can't say. But I, I think it's going to be a, a fun little knife and a good little knife for their inventory. So, uh, got to thank QSP. Got to thank David, uh, Blade Banner, and definitely have to thank the Apex Pass Around Group for the opportunity to check this one out. Thank you guys for checking it out with me. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Till next time, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.